It's calving season for the bison at Blue Mound State Park. Kettleland's Ariana Schumacher introduces us to some of the newest additions to the herd. Good morning, Ariana. Good morning, Travis. It's the time of the year that the members uh, that the staff members at Blue Mounds eagerly await the bison calving season. This year, their first calf was born on April 25th. New bison calves can be found all around the prairie at Blue Mounds State Park. We, you know, kind of wait anxiously for that first calf, and our, our first one was born uh, right at the end of April. It's just, uh, you know, a sign of spring and, and seeing uh, new life to the herd. I think it's really neat to see the calves um, after they're all born. They will be uh, running together in pods, the calves, and they sprint from one section to the other. It's kind of fun to watch. The park expects to have around 25 to 30 calves this year, and they plan to wrap up calving season around mid-June. It's really fun to watch. Uh, those calves really follow mom along, uh, and, and mom is definitely their protection. Wildlife officials say having bison herds helps to preserve the park's prairie landscape. And one of the great ways of managing prairie is to have it grazed, and bison are uh, very good at that. It's their, their natural home and food source, and so by grazing the prairie, they actually reduce the exotic species that would come in uh, otherwise and uh, beat back the woody vegetation that would take it over as well. Calving comes natural to the bison cows, and they do not require assistance, but weather can be a challenge. But mostly this time of year, it's just, just uh, that the weather uh, treats them well. Uh, they're, they're built to survive this range, but those cold days can be tough on a calf. And uh, we're fortunate to have good weather for them right now. Seeing new life in the herd and carrying on the genetics. We've got some really rare genetics um, for bison, and we're excited to, to see that um, propagated in, in new calves each year. Can I go and see the calves? <laughs> well, right now they're not having bison tours just due to some short, short staffing, but there are several lookout locations around the park, so there's lots of ways to see the calves. All right, perfect. Thank you, Ariana.